All right then gang, so the first thing we need to do is create some kind of template for this website. So I'm gonna create all of that in this one video so that for the rest of the series, we don't need to focus on the HTML or anything like that and we can just focus on Firebase authentication. So this is gonna be a bit of a speed coding exercise. All I'm gonna be doing is copying and pasting snippets from my GitHub files over here. So I will be walking through every individual section individually, but I'm not gonna be going into much detail about Materialize or the different things I'm gonna be using to create this template. If you wanna learn more about Materialize or CSS or HTML, check out the relevant links down below going to those series, okay? So for the rest of us, good luck keeping up, and here we go. So first of all, I'm in a blank folder called Firebase Auth, and we have this image folder inside. Now inside here, there is a logo called logo.svg. Now, if you wanna grab that, go to the GitHub repo, go to lesson three right here in the branch drop down, then go into image and you're gonna see this logo.svg right here. So I just saved that to my desktop and now it's inside this folder right here because we're gonna use that inside the header, all right? So the next thing we want to do is create a new file, not inside image, but we'll call it index.html, move it outside the image folder now, so down here, and then I'm gonna say doc tab, and that's gonna create this little document for me, this little boilerplate. So the title of this document is gonna be game guides like so. Now the first thing I want to do is create a link reference to the materialized CSS. So I'm just gonna copy this from my repo and paste it right here. So this is the materialized library. If you want to grab this, you can just get it from my uh, repo or you can go to the materialized website and get it from there. All right, so down here inside the body, the first thing I'm gonna do is give the body a class right here of gray. That gives it a gray background. And we're gonna lighten this by saying lighten three. So these are materialized CSS classes and they control the CSS for us, all right? So then inside the body right here, the first thing we want to do is create the nav bar. So I'm gonna copy this in, paste it right here, the nav bar, okay? and. All it is, is a nav element with these different classes. This makes the drop shadow disappear. It gives it a Z depth of zero. We're coloring this nav bar again. Then inside we have this nav wrapper and container which centralizes everything in a central column. Then we have an anchor tag right here with a class of brand logo. Again, a materialized class just offers some styling for us. Then right here, this is where we're linking to this image right here, this logo.svg. So that is going in the nav bar. We're overriding some of the styles. The width is 180 pixels and the margin top is gonna to be 10 pixels. Then we have a UL and this UL is gonna contain all of the different LI tags right here. We have a rogue span tag. So if you see that in the template, delete that, we don't need it. I'm not sure how it got in there. Um, anyway, these are all the LI tags inside and these are the different menu items. Now you're gonna notice that some of them have a class of logged in and some of them have a class of logged out. Later on in the course, we're gonna control which ones are shown to logged in people, which are gonna be these, and which ones are shown to logged out people, these. But for now to begin with, they're all gonna show in the nav bar, okay? So we have account, log out, create guide, log in, and sign up. You're also gonna notice they all have a class of modal trigger, except log out and they all have a data target of modal create, again, except log out. So each one of these has a data target of a different modal which we're gonna create, and they all have a class of modal trigger. Now, the idea is that when we click on one of these, it's gonna open up some kind of pop-up, a modal, right? And these things control which modal that is gonna open. So if I save this for now, let's just preview this in the browser so far, I'm gonna right click and go to open with live server. That is what this thing did for us over here, this live server thing. So it allows us to right click on an HTML file and go to open with live server. Now that's opened up over in this browser. So let me scoot this across. And this is what it looks like so far. So looking pretty good, right? But if we click on these, nothing happens yet. So let's create these different modals. So the first thing I want to do is create a modal for signing up. So let me again copy this and paste it down here underneath the nav. So let's paste that in, okay? So this has an ID of modal signup. We give it an ID because we're gonna reference this from the JavaScript later on. We have to give this a class of modal. This is what Materialize uses to say, hey, this is a modal. 
So I know that this needs to open up and be styled like a modal pop-up, okay? Now this modal signup ID as well, this is also the thing that we gave to this right here. So data target equals modal signup. Now materialize knows that when we click on this, it needs to open up this thing right here, this modal, all right? So inside we have a div with a class of modal content, then an H4, then we have the form for signing up. So each input field has a div surrounding it with a class of input field. This is styling for materialize. We have an input of email and we have a label for sign up email. We have a label for sign up password, okay? So IDs are sign up email and sign up password. Then we have a button at the bottom. We color it yellow, we darken the color and we get rid of the box shadow by using Z depth zero. So if we save this now, if we click on sign up, then we should see, but we don't, that sign up button. And that's because we've not initialized this sign up JavaScript. So it doesn't work out of the box. We have to initialize all of the different modals. Now, instead of me doing this now, let's set up all of the different modals in the HTML, then we'll initialize the JavaScript at the end. Okay, so that's the sign up one done. Let's do the login modal next. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it down below and scoot this back. Okay, so now we have this div with an ID of modal login, again with a class of modal so that Materialize knows this is a modal. So this modal login ID, this matches up to this thing right here, modal login, the data target. So when we click on this, Materialize knows to open this modal for us. Okay, again, inside modal content, an H4 and a form, this time with an ID of login form. The above one was sign up form. Again, we're gonna use these IDs in the JavaScript later on to reference these forms. We have two input fields. One of them is for a login email and the other one for a login password. So we have a type of email and password. They are both required. And by the way, these here, required and required, okay? So that is the login modal. The next thing we want to do is an account modal. So a modal to show the different account information. So let's paste that in right there. And again, we have an ID, this time modal account, which marries up to this thing up here, modal account, when we click on this. And inside we have the modal content. We're centrally aligning all of the text. All it is at the minute is just an H4 that says account details and a div with a class of account details. So when a user signs up later on, we're gonna dump their account details in here, things like their email or some kind of biography, all right? So that goes there. Okay then, so the next thing we want to do is a modal for creating a new game guide. So let's paste this in right here and scoot that in. So this time modal create is the ID, again matching up to what we have up here. So create guide has a data target equal to modal create, all right? So it opens up this modal. Inside modal content, H4, a form with an ID of create form this time. We have these two input fields one for the title, which has an ID of title, and one for the content, which has an ID of content. This is actually a text area, not just an input field. Then we have a button at the bottom to create this guide, all right? Okay then, so finally, we want to show the guide list. So all of the actual content on the page down here. So later on, we'll be getting this from a database, but for now, we're just hard coding a few little guides, but it's gonna look something like this. We're gonna have a div, first of all, with a class of container. That keeps everything, again, inside a central column. We're giving it a margin top as well. Then we have a UL right here. It's a collapsible UL. So that means that when we click on an LI, it toggles the content open and closed. Now, the title of the content, the thing that we click is this thing, collapsible header, and the content is this thing, collapsible body. We're also giving these some color classes as well, okay? So again, we have to initialize this functionality for the collapsible inside JavaScript. We'll do that shortly, but save this for now and see how it looks. Okay, so it looks like this, but ultimately, when we've hooked up the JavaScript for the uh, toggles right here, when we click on one of these, they're gonna expand, and also when we click on these, they're gonna open up those modals. Okay then, so finally, we need to hook up all this JavaScript. So down below, just before the closing body tag, we're gonna paste these things in right here. So first of all, we have a script reference to the materialize JavaScript library there. We need that for these things to work. Then we have two of our own scripts right here, one called auth.js and one called index.js. 
Now, everything to do with DOM manipulation, manipulating the actual content on the page, that is going to go inside index.js. And anything to do with the authentication flow is going to go inside auth.js. Now, we don't have to split these up. I've done this so we have a separation of concerns. And when we're using authentication, we can focus on that and not have to worry about the other JavaScript. And likewise for the index.js. All right. So we need to create these inside a folder called scripts and then the file name. So let us first of all create these folders, or rather this folder, so scripts, then these files. So one called auth.js and one called index.js. So then we need to initialize a couple of things. First of all, the modals, so that when we click on these different links, these modals pop up. And secondly, we need to initialize this thing down here, the collapsible list, okay? So let's save this first of all, then go to index.js since this is to do with DOM manipulation. And what I'm going to do is again, just copy and paste this from my repo. So it says right here, set up materialized components, which is what we're doing. We're saying document.add event listener, and we're waiting for the DOM content loaded event. So when the content has been loaded onto the page, then we're going to say var modals equals document query select all and anything with a class of modal. So we're grabbing all of these different things here that have a class and modal, all of those, right? So we're getting that collection of elements. Then what we're saying is m.modal, this is the materialized library, a method or rather property called modal on that library. And we're initializing it by using the init method and passing in those modals that we created right there, okay? We're doing the same things for the collapsible. We're saying var items equals document.query select all anything with a collapsible class, which is over here. You can see if we go down here, this has a collapsible class. So this UL, we're turning it into a collapsible UL now by saying m.collapsible.init and then passing in the items, okay? So let's save this now and preview this in a browser. So now if we click on these, we don't see them. Let's inspect and see if we have some kind of error. So go to the console. No, we don't have an error. So let's just refresh and see if this works. I'm going to close, log in. Now we get the modals, okay? Sign up, we get the sign up modal, create, etc. account. And if we click on these as well, they expand as well. Whew. So there we go. That is the template created. Now, I do realize I have sped through this, but if I didn't speed through this, then I'd be spending maybe three or four videos creating an HTML template. And that is not what this course is all about. I didn't want to bog you down with all this. Now, if you want to learn more about Materialize, feel free. Check out my Materialize series right down below. Also, the same goes for any kind of HTML or CSS. If you feel you need more practice, then go and check out those first of all. So I promise you, the rest of the course is not going to be copy and paste like we have done right here. I'm going to be explaining in detail everything I write. This was just to get the template out of the way. So now, my friends, we can focus in the very next lesson on setting up Firebase auth in this project and going ahead with the authentication process. So I'll see you guys in the next video.